Yeah, I mean, just like I predicted, you know, Adrian Broner was going to lose the fight to Pacquiao. Uh, like I said, you know, he wasn't going to he wasn't going to throw enough punches. Didn't use his jab. Didn't <laughs> control the range. You know, that that whole jump in and jump out style of Manny Pacquiao, he can stop that. And it's prevalent because he's just not a busy fighter. He relies on counter punching and. You know, he couldn't time Manny Pacquiao properly. And it was just all out, you know, Manny Pacquiao did what he, he normally does, you know. And not only that, Manny hurt him in round seven, I believe, in round nine. He hurt Broner, but, you know, the only, the only thing that you can give props of Adrian Broner is that he has a great chin. He has never been stopped, knocked out. He's been knocked down, but not stopped. You know what I'm saying? And anybody else, I think those were barrages of punches that, that Manny Pacquiao did against Broner. Anybody else, he would have stopped. But, you know, Broner has a great chin, great heart, actually, too. Because I think round seven, after round seven, when he got hurt, round eight, he tried to rally behind. And I gave, basically, Broner about two rounds. And that's being generous. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, overall, just, again, just typical Broner fashion, just does not throw enough punches. Does not use his jab properly. Does not know how to control the range. Uh, doesn't know how to properly uh, just use different looks and offset opponents with timing and variations like that. And that's what you know that Floyd is just basically on a God tier level that nobody else can reach when it comes to boxing IQ, ring generalship. You know what I'm saying? Defensive awareness, defensive responsibility. Floyd has all those intangibles that you can't teach. And it just shows you, again, he's just on a God, Floyd is on a God tier level. You know, Floyd is at a point where he can, he can do what he wants to do. He can do exhibition, exhibition matches against non-boxers for a nine-figure, ten-figure payday. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, if he wants to, if he wants to uh, rematch Pacquiao, he can. He doesn't have to, you know. Um... Uh, I'm not really interested in that fight. There's two 40-year-olds who are past their prime fighting uh, for a, a Manny Pacquiao-Floyd Mayweather rematch. Um, but there's still some interest out there, but just not as, you know, obviously the hype is not as, 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 as great as it was during their first match. But there's still some interest out there. And Floyd, I wouldn't be surprised if Floyd decides to do the rematch. I would not be surprised. But, you know, am I interested in the fight? I'd say about out of, out of one to one to hundred percent, I'm about ten percent interested in the fight. Ten percent. So I am not interested in that in a rematch with Manny Pacquiao and Floyd. You know, a forty year old Manny Pacquiao, I would like to see him face, you know, some active fighters who are actually boxing, like, you know, the Errol Spences, the Keith Thurmans, you know, the Sean Porters of the world. Um, basically PBC Walterway fighters. I would like to see him face those guys who are active and actually are boxing. And, are, you know, who are um, champions or just, just high, high ranking fighters. I'd rather see him fight, you know, guys like that. But, you know, there, there seems to be a little bit of interest with the Floyd and, and, and Pacquiao rematch. So it is what it is. But as far as as far as uh, Adrian Broner, dude needs to uh, that that pet that post fight interview, man. Typical, uh, typical. Uh, Adrian Broner fashion. I thought I won the fight. Obviously, he was delusional. <laughs> even his, even the people around him were like, nigga, you tripping. You ain't win no goddamn fight. You ain't throwing no punches. You ain't did nothing. Everybody saw that. You ain't throwing no punches. You weren't busy enough. You know what I'm saying? You were, quote unquote, running. You got hurt a couple times. You couldn't do shit. Everybody saw it. You in your own corner. So, he needs to just basically retire. Go into stand-up comedy, be a part-time rapper, call it a day. You know, he has great delivery, great timing when it comes to, when it comes to comedy. Great delivery, great timing. Uh, can write his own jokes, can write his own materials, can write his own skits. You saw his you know, Insta stories, he writes, he just trolls people and stuff like that. I think he'll have a great career as a comedian. And he, he, he also uh, has been rapping as well. Be a rapper, come out with some mixtapes and some albums, work with Soldier Boy, 
You know what I'm saying? Soldier Boy had mentioned you in a few interviews. So I think he I think he's good at doing stuff like that. I mean, he is a great entertainer. So, you know, he does have another career to fall back on as, you know, as a comedian slash rapper. He can get into that realm, and I think he could definitely, you know, uh, be successful in that. And I'm dead serious. He could definitely be successful in that. He he has great delivery, timing. He's infectious with his with his uh, personality. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just been making stupid decisions. His whole career, immature, you know. Um, and I think Al Heyman is no longer going to uh, protect this guy. Al Hammond can't save you no more, uh, Broner. He's not going to give you no gift fights no more. Uh, he's not going to give you these, these, these Pacquiao fights no more. So just call it quits. Go into comedy. Uh, become a rapper. And, and I think you'd be successful doing that, man. And that's real talk. You know what I mean? That's real talk. So I would definitely, if he, if he does do that, I would definitely be the first one to buy a uh, Adrian Broner comedy tour ticket. I would definitely go out and support the brother because uh, he, he's definitely a funny dude. Definitely funny dude. So yeah, uh, yeah. So that's my thoughts about the fight last night. You know, it came out real late, man. It came on around twelve thirty-five a.m. midnight. So I was fighting, trying to fight and try to stay up. You know, nobody else <laughs> in my family was awake to watch the fight except me. Um, and none of us are, or you know, you know, we're not, we're not night people. I'm a morning person. I like to rise up very early. So I woke up later than usual. I woke up around nine o'clock today. As opposed to six. So, yeah, it was a late fight, you know. But overall, the fight was okay. But you know, it was typical fashion of, of, of Pacquiao. And typical fashion of Broner. Just not to, just not to throw enough punches. And um, dictate his presence in the fight. Pretty much non-existent. So, it is what it is. Leave your comments down below if you saw the fight last night, family. Let me know what you guys think. Check me out on Insta Inst Instagram at GMOG Media TV. And also my other channel, GMOG Lifestyle, Sneakers and Fashion. Till next time, Chauncey, the Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.